Hi, everybody. Welcome to Safe Option Strategies, and welcome to Protect and Grow Your Money at the Same Time, the safest way to trade today's stock market. My name is Jeffrey Dunyon. I am the owner and founder of Safe Option Strategies. And, and listen, I appreciate you taking some time out of your schedule. Uh, I, I'm recording this at a at a really crazy time in our in our stock market history and the history of this country. I mean, we're it just this this is such a uh, an interesting time to be alive and to be trading the markets. And I sincerely hope that since you're willing to take some time out of your schedule and watch what we're doing here, uh, I genuinely hope that I can share some information with you today that's going to help you be a more secure and a more profitable trader. Um, without without spending a lot of time on on going into introductions and backgrounds, let me just tell you that I've I've been teaching people how to trade the U.S. stock markets for over 15 years now. In fact, I'll be honest, it's it's getting closer to 20 years now um, since I started learning how to trade the way I'm going to introduce you to, and and started teaching it to other people. One thing I want to tell you about this is that what I'm going to show you today works in any market condition you can imagine. And that's what makes it so valuable and so important. What we've got coming up in the next few weeks with an upcoming presidential election, what might happen after that election takes place, if, if there's chaos on not being certain who the next president is going to be, uh, if there if there's legal disputes over it, if 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 everything goes the way of one party or everything goes the way of the other party, if, if that could turn the markets up on their head. I mean, this the stuff I'm going to show you, you are going to need to know how to do this if you want to survive in the market in the years to come. Because, because some of the crazy volatility that you've seen over the last couple of years, I think is just the tip of the iceberg. And you got to ask yourself, what is it you want from the stock market? If, if you're watching this presentation, I believe it's safe for me to assume that you either already have some money in the stock market and you're looking for a way to be more profitable and more secure, or you are thinking that the time may be right to get some money in the market, but you don't want to get in on a whim. You don't want to get in and, and risk that you lose because you don't know what you're doing. And, and hopefully, you don't want to hand your money over to a broker who's not going to do any better than you could do yourself. And folks, that's a fact. That's a reality. Brokers and money managers, they don't do any better than the average person who, who understands and knows what they're doing in the stock market. I ask people all the time, what do you want from the stock market? These are the, these are the answers that I get. They want security. They want to put their money to work, but they don't want to risk losing it. And, and sometimes you scratch your head and say, is that really what you know, is, that, is the stock market really the right place? Because you hear everybody say this all the time. All trading comes with risk, right? You always hear people say that trading comes with risk. We can't guarantee any results. We can't promise you you're not going to lose every penny you have. Do you realize a lot of money, a lot of people that put money in the stock market, they're actually looking for security? More often than not, they're looking for income. They're looking for lifestyle. Maybe they're looking for for wealth. They want to grow their portfolio. They want diversification. Maybe they've got some money in real estate. Maybe they've got some money in some other things and they, they want to diversify. Whatever your reasons for wanting to put money in the stock market, whatever it is you want from the stock market, if you don't learn how to protect the money that you put in the market, it's never going to get the right opportunity to grow and you're always going to be stressed about it. Well, how would you like to have money in the market, have the ability to grow with the market growth and even exceed what the indexes do and even exceed what most people are doing, but have a sense of security at the same time? See, there, there's ways to do that, and I'm going to introduce you to that, and I'm going to show you that. Now, I, I, I want to... I want to be really clear on something. I, I always want to be upfront. When I when I record a presentation like this, I don't want anyone leaving one of these presentations thinking that somehow, some way, we pulled the wool over your eyes, that we're trying to trick you into doing something, that we're trying to give you some big sales pitch on why you need to buy an education and why you need to do this. I want to be really upfront with you. 
we sell an education program at Safe Option Strategies. And I think it's one of the most affordable education programs you will find for trading stocks and options, but that doesn't mean it's cheap. There, there's a huge difference between affordable and cheap. I hope you understand that. If you're looking for something for nothing, you've not come to the right place. I, I genuinely hope that I can teach you something in this free class that is of value to you. I, I hope I can teach you something that will be beneficial to you. If you get to the end of this presentation and you want nothing to do with safe option strategies in terms of looking at our education and deciding if it's a good fit for you, I hope you still got something out of this class. But, but we do not run a something for nothing company. Okay? I, I don't do that. The, the, the knowledge and the help that we give to traders and investors is worth 10, 20 times what we charge for it. Okay, I think it's very affordable. It's not cheap. And, and let, me, let me add something to this. If you're looking for a get rich quick thing, you've come to the wrong place. I, I don't, look, I know when I say something like that in a presentation like this, some people are turned off by it and they log off. They, they, never, they never watch the rest of the presentation. Because some people come to a presentation like this, they see an email advertisement, they click on one of the links, they say, okay, there's a video, I'll, I'll check out the video. And, and the whole time in their mind, they're thinking, maybe this guy's going to show me how I can get rich quick. That's not what I'm going to do. When I, when I see advertisements that people have online, I see these advertisements on YouTube, I see them on television, and I hear people say things like, I took $2,000 and turned it into millions of dollars in a couple of years, and I can teach you how to do the same thing. I hope what goes through your mind is the same thing that goes through my mind when you hear something like that. What a load of garbage. That is absolute BS for several reasons. I'll, 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 give, you a, I'll give you at least a couple reasons why that's total BS. Number one, if they really truly did that, if, if someone really took $2,000 and turned it into a couple million dollars in a year or two years, you really believe they can teach you how to do that? I, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, there's no way in the world they can. Because the only way you take a couple thousand dollars and turn it into a, a couple million dollars in that short a period of time is if you're taking too much risk and all it takes is one little pullback on a stock that you're trading or one little pullback or market correction – and you're going to get nailed. You're going to lose every penny of what you put in there because of the risk you have to take to produce those kind of results. The other thing I would tell you is that someone, if, if a person really did that, if they took that couple thousand and turned it into a couple of million, they got flat out lucky. And you can't teach that to someone. There's no way to magically bottle that and sell it as a, as a new secret potion that's going to make everybody rich. And, and, and that leads to another thing. If it worked, if it really worked, we'd all be millionaires right now. If someone really had a way to help you turn a couple thousand dollars into several million dollars in just a year or two, we would all be millionaires right now because word of that would get out, wouldn't it? You could not keep a lid on that. Word would spread and everyone would know that, hey, someone's found the magic formula that will make all of us rich. Word would spread like wildfire. There'd be no stopping it. So I, I'm here to tell you that's not what we're about at Safe Option Strategies. What we are about at Safe Option Strategies is teaching you how you can learn and take advantage of market trends, how you can learn to make your money work for you in the stock market to get wonderful returns, not get rich quick returns, but wonderful returns and do it under this blanket of security. Learn how to do it with very little risk relative to what everybody else is doing. Now, I, I was told recently by the SEC, by someone I know at the SEC, I was told recently that I'm not allowed to say that you can trade with zero risk. So let me be really clear on one of the things I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to set up a trade that for a period of time has no risk and a trade that can be easily adjusted to maintain an incredibly low risk scenario and 
a trade that can still grow and profit very nicely. So how's that? I, I'm, I'm going to satisfy the SEC telling me I'm not allowed to tell people that you can trade with no risk. But I'll show you a way to set up a trade that for a period of time has no risk. And that with a little bit of learning on how to adjust this trade or these trades, you can profit very nicely and keep a very, very low risk situation. Let, let's dive right into it. Look, we don't we don't know. This, this is this is what happened earlier this year when the Dow Jones sold off 35 percent on the economic shutdown that we had as a result of the COVID-19 panic a pandemic. I, it, I could call it either one. Panic, pandemic, it, it was both. 35% drop. Look, things like this can happen, and they're going to catch all of us out off guard. I would never for one second tell a person that, that I predicted this or that anybody else could have predicted this. Again, if you hear someone out there advertising something and saying, we predicted this was going to happen, and if only you had bought our $20,000 software program, it would have predicted it for you too. And that's, that's such a bunch of bull. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not making that up, by the way. There's a company that sells some really expensive education and software, and I think you can pay them upwards of $20,000 for their whole program and all their bells and whistles. And, and they claim that they predicted this was going to happen. They had an advertising pitch going on in March and April saying, we accurately predicted this a month before it happened. Well, what they don't tell you is that since 2008, they have predicted a 30% or bigger sell-off in the stock market every single quarter since 2008. And that means they've been wrong somewhere in the neighborhood of, I don't know, 60 times they've been wrong. Oh, and then all of a sudden we had a pandemic that no one could have predicted. And the market went down more than 30% and they're patting themselves on the back saying, see, we predicted this. It's a bunch of baloney. I cannot ever tell you with certainty when the next time is something like this might happen. And it may not have anything to do with a pandemic. It may not even be slightly related to the same type of circumstances. It could, it could be something completely different. But there's no way I can tell you when the next time is the stock market's going to drop 30 or 35 percent or 40 or 50 or 60 percent. What I can do is show you a way that you can always be prepared for it. Markets are always going to correct as long as there's still some underlying fundam fundamental stability in the economy. Now, if, if, the, if the underlying stability in the economy disappears, that's going to be trouble. That, that's going to spell trouble. I don't know when that may happen. I worry about it. I'd be lying to you if I told you otherwise. I, I genuinely worry about it at times. But as long as there's underlying stability in the economy and we have a growing economy, markets are always going to recover. And we've seen that happen since this since this sell-off. The Dow Jones has almost made it back up to where it was before the pandemic. And the NASDAQ and the S&P have actually gone above where they were at before the pandemic. It's been an incredible recovery. But do you know in the midst of this recovery, there are times like this where people take just as big, if not bigger, losses than the times like this. When the market is doing this, people are bailing out right here, they're bailing out right here, they're bailing out right here. When this happens, a lot of times people are bailing out here and then all of a sudden things are back up and they've missed it. People bail out down here because they don't want a repeat of this and then it's reversing. There's a lot of people that sat out half or more of this drop and didn't suffer the, the impact of their portfolio of half or more of that drop, but they absorbed 100% of this, and, and they were scared to get back in until just recently, and so they're still down on a situation like this. This is sometimes more difficult to deal with than this, unless you're always prepared for these types of drops, and you can be. You can set up trades that always have you prepared. So how can you protect your money and grow it at the same time. I'm going to show you two 
different types of trading that we teach here at Safe Option Strategies. One of them is a form of collar trading. It's not the traditional collar trading, and I'll explain in just a second. One of them is a form of collar trading, and I am convinced through nearly 20 years of using this type of strategy that it is the safest way to have money actively trading in the market and still be able to grow it. See, there, there's trades you can do that are always hedged and always low risk, and rarely do they give you an opportunity for growth. The way we teach people how to collar trade, you can protect your money and grow it at the same time. Let me explain really quickly what a collar trade is. You own stock. Okay? I know some of you that are listening to this presentation, you're option-only traders. You, you don't want to own stock. You don't, have a, you don't feel like you have a big enough portfolio to own shares of stock in anything. So all you want to do is option trade. And I'm going to get to you in a couple minutes. I'm, I'm going to show you some option trades that don't involve stocks that can still be a lot safer than what most people are doing. But the collar trade involves owning stock. It involves owning a long put. And it involves owning a long put in a way that you use it just like an insurance policy for your stock. And then you use a covered call option, a short call, that pays you money right now in exchange for the possibility of having to sell your stock later on. But you control the price that it's sold at. You control the time period that it can be sold. And so you can set up a trade that, that has an asset, an insurance policy for your asset, and someone else paying for your insurance. Okay, think about that. Let's say you bought some stock, and you know that when you own stock, the stock could go down in price. It, it, no matter what you pay for a stock, theoretically, it could go to zero. Now, I know that doesn't happen very often, most companies that trade stocks publicly are companies that, that they're going to experience dips. They're going to experience periods of prosperity. Stock prices are going to go up and down, but the majority of them aren't going to disappear and go to zero, but it can happen. You have to, you have to own stocks knowing that it can happen. The people that own stocks and had no hedge against them, some of them lost 35% of their portfolio when the market sold off at the beginning part of this year. That, those are real, those are significant losses. So the collar trade, in the collar trade, you own the stock, you use a long put just like an insurance policy, and you use a covered call to help pay for it. So let's say you bought $100 a share stock, and then you bought a long put at a $100 strike price, so that it's basically protecting the value of your stock, and then you got some credit from a covered call that paid for all or most of this. I'll show you some real examples from today's open market on how this works in just a moment. Now, if the stock price goes down, the value of the long put goes up proportionally and protects your stock. If you had, let's, let's say you had a, a, went out and bought a $75,000 Tesla, okay? And, and maybe you were lucky enough or fortunate enough. I shouldn't say luck. Maybe you were fortunate enough that you had saved for it and you were in a position. You went and paid cash for that car. You've got a $75,000 asset right now. Are you going to drive that car without insurance? Are you going to go driving around without any insurance on that car to take care of something that may not be your fault that someone else does? Are you going to rely on their insurance to cover you? Because I, I got I to gotta tell you, there's people that drive around without insurance. If you have an asset like that, you're going to have an insurance policy. And if something happens to that car, the value of that insurance policy goes up now because it's going to replace what you lost in that car if, if some damage occurs to it. And the money you get paid from a covered call is just helping you to pay for your insurance. Stock moves down, long put value goes up. At that point in time, you can exercise the long put to sell the stock, or you can sell the long put for approximately the same amount of money as what the stock lost. If a 100 strike long put 
if you've got a 100 strike long put and the stock that it goes with goes all the way down to $50, this is going to be worth at least $50. So it will have offset that loss. And if someone else paid for it via the covered call, you don't worry about what that cost you. Okay? That's a collar trade. Let me show you some real live examples. These are from today's market. Now, I know some of you are watching this presentation and, and it was recorded a few days ago or a week ago. That's okay. On the day that I'm doing this recording, these are the actual prices of actual stocks that you could set up in a collar trade. Anybody heard of Snap? They're, they've become a, a very popular company, the, the parent company of Snapchat. All of my kids use Snapchat. I, if I want to communicate with my kids, I have to use Snapchat as well. Okay. Snapchat right now, we could buy for $27.14 a share. And I'm looking at that mid price. $27.14 per share. We could get short calls. That's our covered call right there that would pay us $1.97 and we could buy a long put option that expires a few weeks from now for $2.24. Now, why would I only get insurance for such a short period of time? Well, Snap is less than a week away from reporting their earnings. All I want to do is have an insurance policy that gets me past that earnings report in case the news is bad and they start trading to the downside. If they start trading to the upside, I'm just going to have a stock with a covered call and I'm okay with that. For a period of time, now look at these numbers. This is important. Remember, the SEC told me I can't tell you there's zero risk trading, but for a short period of time, if my total cost to be in this trade is $27.41, and that is today's price, and I have the right to sell my stock at $27.50, I am protected from losing any money, at least for a period of time. If Snap reported their earnings and the stock plummeted, the value of this long put is going to go up. The majority of this long put has been paid for by those short calls. And I could exercise and sell my stock at $27.50 right up until the day of the 6th. So if Snapchat starts to go down, I can get out of it for actually a little more than the total money spent. Now, I'm probably going to spend the difference between this and this. I'm probably going to have to spend that to close my short call. And I might even have to spend a few pennies more than that. But I've got a trade that is incredibly low to zero risk. Because I knew how to set it up. Okay, here's another example, Netflix, much more expensive stock. Netflix currently trading at 547.22, but if I had some shares of Netflix and I wanted to get a short call to pay for a long put, Netflix has its earnings in less than a week. And Netflix could go skyrocketing above $600 a share, in which case I would make a little over 10% on this trade, or Netflix could go plummeting down, in which case, I would have the right to sell my stock for more money than my total cost to be in the trade. For a period of time, I have a zero risk trade. Bank of America, they report tomorrow. Their earnings report is tomorrow. I could be in a trade on Bank of America and only have 25 cents per share risk. I've got the, in this setup right here, I've got the right to sell my stock for $25. And my total cost to be in this trade right here is $25.25. That's not zero risk, but that is incredibly low risk. 25 cents is 1%. 1% of a $25 a share stock. I can sleep well at night knowing that if 
Bank of America has a horrible, horrible earnings report tomorrow, I'm only at risk of losing about a percent. And if Bank of America took off to the upside, I could make in the neighborhood of $4 a share. That's the difference between where I might have to sell my stock and what my total cost was, $3.75 divided by a cost of $25.25. I could actually make almost 15% on this trade if Bank of America had a great earnings report, went up above 29 and I got called away. You know, Bank of America less than a year ago was trading at $32, $33 a share. It's not out of the question that it could get back there. I've got close to no risk and potentially a 15% gain. Do one more example. Facebook, they report in about two weeks, two and a half weeks maybe. I could buy shares of Facebook, get paid through a covered call, spend money on a long put, have a total out-of-pocket price per share less than what I have the right to sell my stock for, and for a period of time, I could have zero risk. Folks, I, I could show you stock after stock after stock after stock after stock after stock after stock that you could do this with. And you could be in the market with the ability for your money to grow. What if, what if uh, Facebook took off to the upside, soared over $300 a share, and we, we had to sell our stock at $300 a share? We would make $22.59 per share. I'm just going the difference between what I paid and what I would have to sell everything for. $22.59 divided by an investment of $277.41 per share. I could make 8%, but more importantly, I could sleep at night not worried about what the market might do tomorrow. The biggest fear of being in the stock market is we never know what's gonna to happen tomorrow. We never know what's gonna happen next week or next month or next quarter. And that's kind of a scary way to have your money working for you not knowing what's gonna happen. You don't have to do that anymore. Whether it's an inexpensive stock like Bank of America or Snap or an expensive stock, like Facebook or Netflix, Amazon. Amazon's trading almost $3,500 a share. You could do this with Amazon if you own shares of Amazon. This works in any market condition, and you can still be profitable and be protected. Now, I want to show you a trade that a student shared with me a while back. I didn't trade Snap when they first IPO'd. Okay, back in back in March of 2017, Snap IPO'd. IPO means that's the first time they traded publicly. I know most of you know that. If, if, if you're on this presentation, probably you know that. At their IPO, they jumped up to almost $29 a share, and then they immediately fell back down. In March of 2017, one of my students got 300 shares of Snap okay, for $7,200. He got in when they were right about here at $24 a share. So he didn't, he didn't get in when they were really high, but he didn't get in when they were low like this. And unfortunately, for the next, I don't know, five, six months, he just kind of suffered as they continued to go down and down and down and down. And when he came to me, when he, when he saw what we were doing at Safe Option Strategies, he was already down in this trade a little ways. And he was, and, and, but to him, this was a lot of money that he had tied up in this trade. We taught him how to collar trade. He already had the stock, he was already down a little bit, but we taught him how to collar trade it. We helped him through another six, seven months where it kind of wobbled back and forth, made a little bit of money on some up moves, protected it on some down moves, didn't do a lot. Then all of a sudden it had this huge surge to the upside and he's like, great, look at this, I've almost got back everything I had. And then for some weird reason, after a great earnings report, it just started to sell off. And it was kind of unexplainable. So teaching the concepts of collar trading, we helped him get in a position where when it started to dip up here, we made sure that collar trade was in place. And when it got down here, he was able to add 
a hundred more shares of stock for no additional investment. Here's how he did it. Go back to think think back to that image I showed you of the collar trade. The stock goes down, the long put goes up in value. Instead of exercising and selling his stock, which he could do with that long put, he cashed in the profit from that long put and used that money to add a hundred shares to his position. He didn't have to come up with more money to add to the 7,200. The money he came up with was the profit from the long puts. There was no additional investment. And now he's gone from 300 to 400 shares. Snap had a little bit of a rebound, got close to an earnings report again. He made sure he had a collar trade in place and it plummeted. But on 400 shares, he had all of it protected with that insurance policy. And when it got clear down here, he, he didn't time it right here at the bottom. He didn't time it over here right at the bottom. We don't have a crystal ball that tells us that's where it'll stop before it goes back up. There was no way to know that's where it would stop before it would go back up. But when there were technical indicators suggesting that it was on the way back up, we added 500 more shares for no additional investment. Okay. He, he took all the profit from his long puts on the way down and added 500 shares and still had not increased his investment. Now, at this point in time, he, wasn't, he still wasn't profitable in the trade, but his shares had gone from 300 to 900, and he hadn't lost any more money than where he was at when he first joined our program. His loss came before he joined the program. Once he got in our program, he suffered no more losses on this position, but he had tripled his number of shares by now. Stock made an impressive climb back to the upside. And he made a little adjustment here, and then he got another climb in the stock. And when the stock got back up around $18 a share, remember, he had 900 shares at this time. I skipped past, let me, hang on, there you go. When, when the stock got up around $18 per share, he now had 900 shares. He was still trading. Remember, he got in around $24 a share. He was still down $6 per share. $26 divided by $24. The stock value per share was still down 25% from where he originally bought in at $24. And yet he was now up 125%. Now he was stressed during this period of time right here. He was stressed because he got in at the IPO and was losing money. He wasn't stressed through this time period. He wasn't stressed through this drop right here. He wasn't stressed through this drop right here. And he was ecstatic. When he got a couple of years later and was up 125%, and he continued to do this for another little while. Let me get all my marks off of there for you. He continued to do this for a while, had a chance to add another 400 shares on the drop that Snap experienced with the COVID pandemic and the sell-off of the market. And back in July, when he shared this with me, when he shared this story with me, he had added another 400 shares and was up 376% in three years and three months from the time he first bought shares of Snap at their IPO. The, the point of the collar trade is this, you protect what you have. The opportunities come to grow it and through adjustments, through selling the long puts, using that money to add more shares, you can profit tremendously. Not every collar trade you do is going to profit to this degree. Okay, Here's one that we did with our students, like with all of our students. We got a great profit over a 36-month period of time, but that's shy of the 370-some-odd percent that our student had on SNAP, when you divide this over three years, it's still upwards of 65% a year on average. But do you know, we weren't profitable during this period of time right here. We made a little money back and got profitable here. 
We didn't give up any ground, but we weren't making money during this time here. The little move back up made us a lot of money. This is Under Armour, by the way. This is a trade that we sent out to all of our students at Safe Option Strategies. They all had the ability to get into this trade the same time we did, if they wanted to. And on a stock that is down over 50% from where it was when we first got in, we're up over 194%. This is what you can do with collar trading. Now, some of you don't want to own stock, you want to do option only trading, and we do that. We teach spread trading, and the reason we do spread trading is because regular option trading is high risk, high reward. The, the people who claim they've made millions off of just a couple thousand dollars in the market, if they're being truthful in any way, they got lucky. And they had very high reward, but they had very high risk. For every one of those people that may have made those incredible type of gains, there's probably 10 people who lost everything they had to trade with because of the higher risk involved. Spread trading allows hedging of option trading. We combine the higher reward of regular option trading with the hedging that we use in collar trading by doing spread trading. Now, I know probably 90% of the people who watch one of my presentations, they know what spread trading is. Okay, I don't, I don't have to give you a full explanation of what spread trading is. Through not just spread trading, but something called spread trade adjusting, we have been able to produce results that are absolutely phenomenal and it's because we, we get the high reward of traditional option trading with the lower risk of something like hedge trading or, or you know collar trading and hedge trading. And when we combine that with trade adjusting, and let me give you an example of what trade adjusting is real quickly. I don't have a, I don't have a screen that's going to show this. Trade adjusting is when anytime you set up a trade, Anytime you set up a trade, you have an expectation that that stock is going to go up or it's going to go down or it's going to stay kind of flat over the course of the next couple of days, the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months. You, you get into a trade right here on this day, and you have an expectation for what direction the stock is going to move. But there's a – at the bare minimum, if you want – this is oversimplifying a little bit, but if your expectation is that it's going to go this way – You've got a 33% chance of being right versus a 67% chance that it goes one of the other two directions. Now, again, that's an oversimplification. But every time you make a trade, every time you place a trade, you're just making an educated guess on what you believe the stock is going to do. So what is your plan if you're wrong? An adjustment is where prior to ever opening this trade, you know this is what you're hopeful for, and you have a backup plan of how to change the direction of the trade to match the new direction of the stock if it were to go against you. And what happens when you do that is losses that could have been 100% of what you put at risk or 80% of what you put at risk or 90% of what you put at risk. Instead of that, you can adjust the trade to where it's a much smaller loss or it's a break even or sometimes a profit. And what you do is, is instead of one or two bad trades wiping out a whole bunch of good trades, you've got one bad trade that is oftentimes not even as bad as your next good trade. You, you don't have to give up the profit for multiple trades. I hear from people all the time that one of their biggest frustrations when they're trading options and when they're spread trading or swing trading or, or doing credit spreads, whatever the case may be, their biggest frustration is they'll have three out of four trades go exactly the way they want them to go, but that fourth trade that goes against them is wiping out the profits of those other three trades. Imagine if, there, if, if I couldn't show you or teach you anything to improve your winning percentage, 
but I could show you how to minimize the impact of those ones that go against you and occasionally turn them into profitable trades, often turn them back into break-even trades. And if you still take a loss on it, it's a much smaller loss than you would have suffered. How much does that change the landscape of your trading? So with, with collar trading, we teach you how to be incredibly safe, very low risk, and you can over time still make some great money through trade adjusting. With spread trading, we teach you how to adjust trades so that the ones that go against you don't hurt you as bad. I would be, I would be lying if I told you that every trade you place is going to be profitable when you're spread trading. I'd be lying to you if I told you you're never going to take a loss in spread trading or that I could somehow magically make it to where you'll never take a loss again. I can't do that. Nobody can. I can show you how to minimize those losses through trade adjusting and through the strategies that we teach here so that your exposure is not as great and you can overcome those trades that go against you. Now, how do you learn this and grow your portfolio at the same time? You're up against, you're up against some scummy people out there. Folks, I, I hate to say it, but the industry that I'm in, investment education, there's a lot of con artists out there. there there's a lot of people that, that tell you they can do certain things for you, and there's not a chance in the world they can do it. That, that there, there is a guy that has a YouTube – I don't even know the guy's name. There's a guy that has a YouTube video out there that, that talks about – I. You know, I'm in my private jet in Italy. I'm, I'm, I'm landing in Italy today, and I'm day trading over here. And, and I took $2,000 and turned it into millions of dollars. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. That's a con artist. That's a straight-up con artist. The guy that says, I had $4,500. And through a unique strategy that only I know about, nobody else knows about this strategy. I'm the only one that knows it. And I can teach you this strategy that allowed me to take $4,500 and turn it into a $50 thousand dollar per month income folks that is an outright lie because they can't teach you how to do it if they actually did that which you should doubt <laughs> if they actually did that they can't teach you how to do that there's con artists there's dreamers and there's price gougers there's actually some some pretty good education out there on, on how to be protected better in your, in your portfolio, how to be smarter in the technical and fundamental analysis that you do. And, and there's companies that want to charge you upwards of fifteen twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for this stuff. There, there, there's a company that has, uh, I won't name them by name. There's a company that has like 15 different education gurus that are working for them. That's what they call them. They've got like their 15 different education gurus. And all of these education gurus have these various packages of, of investment education that they sell to you. And, and most of them start around $100 to $500 for, for, that, for that initial purchase of their education program. And you think, hey, that's something I can afford. But then you find out after you've spent that $500, that their goal is to get you to spend another $1,500 on the next level of that program. And now you're into it a couple thousand dollars. Oh, but if you want to unlock the secrets of how to really make the good money, now you've got to pony up another $2,500. So now you've gone from 500 to a couple thousand. Now you're up at $4,500. And, that's, and that's still, that, that still isn't the whole thing. What you need to do now is become a part of the super secret society of, of super secret traders that nobody else is a part of. And it's only going to cost you $4,000 to do that. And on all of a sudden, before you know it, you're, you're spending $10,000. And, and some of them are not even that disguised. Some of them just say, yeah, hey, our program's fifteen grand, But it'll teach you everything you need to know. This is, this is what you're up against. When you're trying to learn how to do this kind of stuff, when you're trying to learn how to get good, and you're looking for someone that can help you and guide you through this process, this is what you're up against. And it gives, it gives our industry a black eye, and I don't like it. And so I'll tell you, I, I'll make you this promise. I, I'm going to take the last five minutes of this presentation. I'm going to tell you how we can teach you how to do this stuff and help you make money at the same time 
and not have to worry about any of this garbage right here. Okay, I, I absolutely believe you've ever you've probably heard this. If, if you're my age, you've heard it thousands of times. If you're younger than me, you've probably still heard it hundreds of times. And if you're older than me, you've probably heard it tens of thousands of times. Feed a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for life. I absolutely unequivocally believe that is true. But there's one big glaring problem with this famous saying. I don't even know how long this saying has been around. But there's one big problem with this saying. What happens if the man starves while he's trying to learn how to fish? Okay, I've got I've got a really good friend of mine, and I've got a brother-in-law who's also I consider a great friend. They are both amazing fishermen, and they have tried over and over again to teach me how to fish. Okay, I don't do it as much as them. So I've never, I've never invested the time to get as good as they are. But, but I'll, I'll go out with them fishing somewhere, and they'll show me what kind of bait to use or what type of lure to use, and they'll show me how to, how to fix the hook, and they'll show me how far away from the hook you put some weights on it on the, on the fishing line. And then if, you know, if you're using a bobbin or if you're using some other type of device, um, you know, they, they show me how to do all that. And I look at what they're doing, and I, and I do everything the way they're doing it, and they help me do it. And then they cast their line out in the water, and I cast my line out in the water, and they catch fish, and I don't catch fish. Or they'll catch a dozen fish, and I'll catch one, and we're, and we're doing the same amount of attempts. And, and I, w I was out fishing with my friend one day with one of these guys, and, and I thought, man alive, if, if you know, th this, this thought came into my mind, this saying came into my mind. And I thought, he's really trying to teach me what to do. And he's trying to coach me and give me all this good advice. But I thought, holy smokes, if he and I got lost in the wilderness apart from each other, and we had to rely on our ability to fish to keep us alive and keep us fed, he would be fine. I would starve to death. I'd be in trouble. And, and you know, they've, they've explained to me all these different things that, that they just get through experience and time that help make them better fishermen. So the reality is you need to learn how to fish. You need to learn how to get good in trading the U.S. stock markets. You need to learn the strategies that we can teach you. But we don't want you to starve while you're learning that. Everyone learns at a different pace. Everyone learns at a different rate. Some of you could pick up what we're doing really quickly. Others of you, it would take a long time or at least a while longer. So to make sure you can learn how to fish and be well fed at the same time, we provide classes that teach all the education. We send out multiple trades every week that you can follow. This is learning to fish. This is being fed. This is learning to fish. This is learning to fish. This is being fed. We send out trades. We help you make the adjustment to those trades. We help you know when to open and close a trade. And folks, we have a really amazing track record. This is just where we're at so far this year. I just took this part down here and blew it up a little bit. This is where we're at so far this year. We've, we've opened, what, 59, 50, 58, 59 trades this year? These, and by the way, these are the option-only trades. Our collar trades, we're up about 40% on the year on our collar trades. Our spread trades, higher risk, higher reward, but we minimize that risk through the trade adjusting. If, if you would have joined our program on January 1 and copied us on every single trade we sent out to our students throughout the entire year, this is where you would be this right now. In one of my small portfolio, I've got several portfolios that I trade. I trade some larger portfolios that are a family trust account, and I, I trade some individual portfolios for myself and for some family members. 
in one of the portfolios that I trade, this is an actual screenshot from the portfolio. I'm not making this up. I'm not exaggerating this. I made sure the picture didn't include the account number. In this portfolio, I have copied every single trade that we have sent out to our students this year. And at the day I took this picture, I was up a little, I took this picture a few days ago. It, it, it fluctuates two or 3% on a daily basis. But I'm showing you this because I, I, I wanna show you, this is not made up, this is not hypothetical. This is not something that I'm pretending to do. This is where we're at so far this calendar year. And we've still got a couple months left. I'm telling you, they're gonna be crazy, rocky months. If you think this year has, if, if you don't think this year has already been weird, I think there's more to come. I, I, I think between, I, I'm, I'm doing this recording three weeks before we vote for President of the United States. I got to tell you, it's going to be a crazy three weeks, and it's going to be a wild couple of months after that going into the end of the year. We're talking about the possibility of contested elections, lawsuits. Uh, who knows what legislation, if, if the administration is going to change, who knows what legislation they try and push through in those last two and a half months after they've been voted out of office. If the administration um, stays the same, who knows what kind of legal chaos there's going to be challenging results. I mean, it, it's going to get nutty, folks, and I, and I don't care where your politics are. I don't care which side of the aisle you're on. I want to help you make money. I want to help you survive this craziness that's coming up and still help you make money. When you're done with this presentation, send us an email. There's, a, there's right below the recording. You're on our web page. You're watching this recording. Right below that, there's this simple little form that says, please send me more information. You, you, gotta, you can make up a name if you want to stay real anonymous. You've got to give us a valid email or we can't respond to you. Only send us a contact number if you want someone to call you. I do not hire salespeople at my company. No one at Safe Option Strategies is going to call you and try to sell you our education program. We are going to call you if you put a valid phone number here. We are going to call you and we are simply going to answer any questions you have about what we're doing or about how you can do it. Okay, folks, we are really – now, here, here's the other thing. Only those individuals who fill this out and send us an email are going to be eligible for some discounts that we're offering right now. And let me tell you how to take advantage of that. Fill out the form. We will email you details on the discount. If you have questions, type them in the box for the question. If you'd like a phone call, put your phone number in there. Okay, You can call us if you'd rather. You don't have to fill out that form below there. You can call us. But here's the deal. Folks, we are very, very straightforward on our pricing. I'm going to show you the full price of our program, the full retail price of all of our education programs at Safe Option Strategy. But for, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, before I show you these prices, here's my little teaser, okay? This is my little teaser. Before I show you these prices, I will tell you right now, for anyone who will take the time to email or call us, I am going to offer you a very deep discount on this program. Okay, our regular price for those people only interested in the collar trade course, we have an annual membership and we have a lifetime membership. For those people only interested in the spread trade course, we have an annual membership and a lifetime membership. When you combine the two together, we discount it. If you've got an annual membership to both of these, that would be $3,500. We knock a 500 bucks off. If you added those together, obviously that comes to $5,500. We knock $500 off. But I'm going to tell you this right now. For those people who will take the time to email or call, we are going to offer a deep discount on this program for a limited amount of time. Okay, We're, we're not going to hold the discount open indefinitely. The reason I do that is because, like I said, I don't pay any salespeople. I, I do not pay anyone to sell for us. I want to converse with people and trade emails with people and talk to people who are seriously looking for a way to improve their trading. Folks, I have an unlimited 
money back guarantee on this program. I cannot guarantee any type of a percentage return. I can't guarantee that we'll repeat next year what we're doing this year. I cannot guarantee a specific return that you will get, but I will put in writing for you, guarantee that you will make money following our trades and doing this program, or I will give you your money back. I literally put that in writing for you. I will show you a way to, to, if you'll call or email, I'll give you details on the discount, and I'll make a way for you to do this program if you want to. Okay? That's the closest you're ever going to get from me to a sales pitch. I can teach you how to be profitable in the market under any circumstances. I can teach you how to be safe in the market under any circumstances. If you're willing to make a small investment in yourself, I'll help you make a lot of money. I hope I hear from you. If not, I wish you nothing but the best of luck in everything that you do and nothing but the most success possible in the market. Thanks. Have a great day.